Right then viewers, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, but there's a giveaway somewhere in this video. So it is a subscriber only giveaway. So if you're not subbed, sub now. And then when Josh comes on, follow his instructions and then you can grab yourself some free boats. So hope you like the video and thanks for watching. Hello everyone, it's, uh, it's not Kieran's put on weight, it's Josh. Um, I'm here at Beaver Fisheries on Daughters Lake. We've got eight lakes here. It's been fishing really hard with all the uh, hot weather, but fingers crossed, me and my dad can get in, into a couple and he would love a grass here as there's quite a few in here and he's never had one. So uh, we're going to fish for a bite at a time and hopefully we need something in a bit. One rod each. Ain't done official week the lake. Oh, he beats me on slice though. What was yours on dad? The nothing. Pop up on it. Let's try and nothing pop up. Over uh, the new test bait. New test bait. This one looks carpy. No, that's carpy, definitely. No, that's carpy. He don't want to go, oh, he likes me. Oh, as you see, me and my dad both just had one at the same time. A bit crazy because we were just about to move and his rod ripped off, just about to pick it up. I already moved along to swim four in the middle of the lake. And while sorting these out, mine ripped off as well. So This is a rig my dad caught his on. Just a standard spinner rig. Bank bait tiger up and off it pop up. Mine was just a faithful solid bag with a seeded plum wafter in it. Also got a wafter rig out there as well, so if that does uh, a fish, we'll uh, show you that one as well. And the reason I moved to swim four from swim one is because bailiffs are very good here and when no one's on they let you uh, boat out or cast out pretty much anywhere on the lake as long as you're careful no one turns up and I'm bang in the middle of the lake now and if you can see I'll flip the camera around I'll show you now the guy down here is left Got all of this if I want to I could put a rig further down here as well I just thought it would give me better options and it paid off what? another one to the uh, solid bag mix and the seeded plum wafter I think I'm going to change the uh, wafter rig to another bag hopefully fishing for one bite at a time we can nick a couple more just check the other side I 
nice as your mirror though, Dad. Yeah, you can have all them ones. Seems to be getting smaller for me, but another one to the back, solid bag mix, plum wafter. Zoom in for this one. Five. <laughs> oh. Zoom in far. <laughs> I don't know, five, five, six pound, I'll weigh in a sec. Well, <laughs> fish is better than no fish. As you can see, Josh hasn't washed. Kin piling out of him. Oh, yeah. Right, everyone, bit of an update after that little common. As soon as it got dark, it's gone very quiet. But while I'm here, I thought I'd show you my spots where I've done all three fish. Just on there, right in there with the boat. It's a nice flat gravel spot the uh, bailiff Andy told me about, and uh, it's done me all three bites. I've got one in front of them two trees, it's done nothing yet, and then the other pop-up is roaming, so I swapped to uh, two solid bags after all three fish, been on the solid bags. I'll keep you updated hopefully next time with a fish. I forgot to uh, say I've been injecting the bags with oil, if you can see there, the uh, new citrus hemp oil. So, creates like a nice flat spot on the top and then you can, if you want to you can uh, put a few freebies over the top I haven't been as it's been fishing quite hard wakey wakey hello <laughs> hello <laughs> For me, I've already weighed him a 13 4. As you can see, he's got steroids on his feet. <laughs> Strong fire, huh? Bag. It's only big. It took me around the whole lake. You seem to be getting the better size, isn't it? Yeah. It takes you out when you actually. 
he's been working out. The size of these fins yeah. for a little fish. He's been working out, hasn't he, at the gym. He's been doing push-ups on the bottom. All right, let's get him back. You think that would have it now, haven't you? I think mine was bigger last night, to be honest. Where was it? About a pound and a half, wasn't it? Yeah. If that. Oh. <laughs> Try let him go when he wants. Look at the thickness of it. Nice little stocky boy, isn't he? Yeah. Like you, if he was a carp. Fucking fat right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for Ryan, I thought. Yeah? Bigger. There it is. No, no, that's way too much. No, they're nice and stocky, though, aren't they? Well, the ones you've had, I mean, obviously I've had four. Four? Yeah. You have three. Need them to that. Alright, three and a half then. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Well, you've got half a lake. I've only got one swim now. Someone's moving in the next to me. He's drinking out yet. Thank you. You're all right. Now he's a nice lake. Yeah, really nice. Now the 29.9 grassy last time. Oh. Yeah, Paul kept telling him to do B roll. I don't know what he means, so I thought I'd put the bacon on him after the bacon roll. You ain't got any rolls with you. Oh, sorry, Paul. We have to do bacon sandwiches, not bacon rolls. Two pound a loaf? 79 pound a loaf. Oh, I'm chicken. I'm sorry. Fuck. Oh. No wonder. Right. So, yeah, second second morning. Two nights in, we've had, obviously, we've had all them little commons and he's had the nice mirror. Still yet to see a grassy call, but uh, some lovely ones in here. Hopefully, we get one of them. And uh, we've got a couple of nights left. We were going to move to Snipe Lake and do a bit on there, but I think we're just going to come back and hopefully get you a bit You were going to move on there. I want to move on there, but Dad's critical. We don't like, don't like moving. So if I don't catch nothing else, it's his fault, so I wanted to move. Yeah. Cook for him, set his tent up, help him with his rods. But you don't even like rigs you've got on either, do you? Hey. Yeah. And look. <laughs> That's all good. All right, hopefully we're catching a couple more and we'll see you in a bit. Finally, we have rain. It's been baking hot for two days and now it's like pissing down. But that's all good, hopefully. Start getting their heads down because my swim's completely died to death. I haven't seen nothing for ages since that massive common. I know I've also switched all three to solid bags, but I've been putting a bit of a... Uh, Insector chalk and seeded plum crumb mixed in. I really don't want to give them any food. It's no signs of feeding. I think we've been lucky enough to nick the bites that we have, to be honest. But as you can see, bit of rain, hopefully, spurs them on a bit. I'm mixing that up in the uh, in with the pellets when I make the bags and injecting them with the oil and one of them I'm injecting with a plum haze just to try and do something different see if I can nick a bike all, all my fish have been one one spot try and get the other two rods in so I'm just going to fish bags on all of them keep roaming them around and hopefully uh, nick another bite or two. Still got time. Um, there is someone moved into my left so I can't go any further down at the minute. I would, I might move tonight because I have seen fish uh, right by the air radio on the other side. So I might move if I don't see nothing I have nothing. Hopefully it all changes after this rain. Oh, I just got off the uh, camera to say it's a bit of rain. We've gone solid bags on all three, and literally 
But if I kept the camera on another 10 seconds, you would have heard the alarms go. And I finally got a decent looking mirror. Stunning, isn't it? One. That was insects chopped off down the uh, bank bank solid bag mix injected with the citrus hemp. And I took a walk around the other side earlier with a net pole and found a bit of a deeper margin spot. And that's the one that ripped off, so. There we go, it's lovely. It's got a bit of scale damage on the back there. Care on it. So how much did it weigh? Oh, I just weighed in it's 13 exactly. It's a bit, it's a bit more what you expect. Better than them, that last common anyway. <clears throat> there you go. Couldn't really see him to be honest in this. This is uh, my solid bag rig. It's um, just an average stem and I go a flat weight, three ounce, a little quick change I just cut a um, anti-tangle sleeve down to cover on that and got a uh, super natural it's, um, four to six inches even when I do my bags I'm not too fussy as long as it's in between no bigger than six uh, size six crank a little insect chuck wafter but I do it uh, like German style so there's no hair and then under here, under there I've got the uh, cord hook clip so I can uh, change hooks quicker. It definitely makes solid bag fishing a hell of a lot easier. Oh, sorry that I turned the camera off by accident. Um, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, it makes uh, bag fishing a lot easier and when lakes not doing many bites, I think solid bags really is the best way to go. Even though I make boilies. I love bag fishing. You always nick, normally generally nick a fish. And if you ain't committed no bait, so you can always move them around. So I put definitely made a mistake putting a bit of bait out. It was only probably a kilo between two spots yesterday, but killed it until now, apart from that little comment. Which uh, is actually a good thing, it shows that the uh, lake's healthy. And uh, even the bailiff, the head bailiff Andy, he was very surprised when I told him it was about a pound. Um, but as you see with the mirrors now, there's lovely, lovely fish in here. Nice mouths, everything. And uh, some big grasses, but the None of the grasses are playing ball. That's why we sort of come here for my dad because he's never had one. It definitely looks better. I might just be where I've had a fish and it's giving me a buzz, but after that rain, it looks nicer. Right, I'm going to get these bags made up just in case. Another common. It's uh, about an hour since I told you we had nothing. I just redid the bags and the wind uh, started pushing down my way and a few anglers turning up down there so I think that might have helped. You don't want to be picked out this one. Scales 
let's uh, heal them scales up and then get them weighed. Mm -hmm. I, was, uh, so, I think I was insect chop off in the bag again. I don't think it makes much difference what hook bait you got on in the bag though. Mm. Bing! Gone. How many had? Six? Five, I won't count the little one now. Oh, oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Well, I moved. Moved to swim five, uh, one more further down. Just saw a bit more activity down this way, even though I caught that common, which was on the edge of my boundary, if not past it anyway. So I thought, uh, must be a bit further down away from the pressure. Hopefully it pays off. Or I'll show you the swim five. So I got to that white pole, to them trees, but as no one's on the swim that's around the corner, I've now actually got a hell of a lot more water. So hopefully it uh, pays off. All right, I'll see you in a bit. swim. I did lose one about an hour ago. A bit better. It's definitely worth the move. Um, one of the guys from further down come see me uh, when he packed up and said no one, no one else had a bite today so definitely worth moving away from the pressure. It's a solid bag. Solid bag mix. This extra chuck wafter again. Whoa. If he stays still. There you go. Lovely. Ten minutes. This was the uh, rod I lost one on uh, about an hour and a half ago, and same spot went again. Nice little common, nearly as big as the one I woke my dad up for. I was, uh, again, obviously, I'm just fishing solid bags now, so that was solid bag and set to chop off there again. Oh, last knock ins. The rods ripped off. Just went to go, go and put my dad's tent away. He was standing by my rods. And I uh, could hear it scream off, so I had to run back down and nick the rod back off him. But it uh, looks like the best, uh, best fish for me. I'm even going to put it back out and then pack away. You never know, it might even be one more. But we're uh, hanging it out a bit, packing away slowly. I'll show you what I've got. Nice mirror. Right, let's get him out and I'll get the camera 
not set the cup. Ooh. I am going to put the rod back out, but it is glass knocking. So, um, just, just literally, as you can see, I did the uh, video. Just saying, I think that's going to be it, and we're going to pack down. But I've got this beauty. Oh, just slapped me right in the face. Oh, it got me in the kisser again. Look at that. Tail's got me face about ten times. I think your first one was still bigger. That'll be only. Yeah. That's it. That's uh, obviously yeah. solid bag, insect to chop off the. Let's show you the other side. I said earlier in the video I'll do a giveaway um, on the best method. That was clearly the solid bags as they weren't having much grub. So um, if you are subscribed, if you uh, want a free two kilo of the uh, solid bag mix and uh, the citrus hemp oil I've been using, just click done, comment done on the video. And if you haven't subscribed and you've watched it, subscribe and comment done and we'll do a giveaway. Uh, we do a live draw somehow and uh, you can get your hands on some of the pellet mix but if um, nothing else happens that'll be it for me dad's still asleep we've got packing stuff up as well so uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>